Oh, there it is. There it is. Look. New California T6.1. Nice. nice. Well, we're here at Dusseldorf Caravan Salon to check out the brand new California T6.1. So probably the most radical changes is the new front end. So it's got this new kind of lower grille, new headlights, and this new mid grille as well, which kind of morphs into the lights. Um, it looks really, really smart. We love the look of it. Uh, some of them have extra chrome on, some of them don't. Uh, I prefer it with the chrome, it looks really, really good. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really cool, modern, sharp front end. And the next big change, this beach is fitting with brand new wheels that we've not seen before. And nearly every single one of the T6.1s that are here have got new wheels that I've not seen before. So, very cool. Another big change is you now have the actual model name so we've got California written just ahead of the indicators. Uh, it says Caravel on the Caravels, etc., And that looks really, really smart. This model here is the California Coast. Now, unfortunately, it's one that hasn't so far come to the UK. So we may see it, we may not in the UK, but here in Europe, it's kind of a halfway between the beach and the ocean. It's that kind of middle ground, but as you can see, this is in a brand new colour. It's in Sean's shorts green. Um, and it looks really, really smart. I like this colour a lot. The darker mirrors are quite cool. I quite like that. So underneath the bonnet, all Californias come with a brand new two litre turbo diesel engine with better emissions, uh, better fuel economy. And they come in, I think it's 149 horsepower and 199 horsepower variants. So should be much smoother, should be better to drive, even better to drive than they already are. So yeah, very nice. Now you join me inside the California coast. Now I know we said that this is unlikely to come to the UK market, but there are a lot of similarities between this and the ocean. In fact, there's some things that are exactly the same. Things that also you can choose as options. The biggest one being this new wood looking effect kitchen area. Now this is gonna be an option that you can spec along with the floor. There's another option as well for that that we'll have a look in the other ocean. So there's obviously a lot of similarities between this and the T6.1. They're pretty much all the same. The table's in the same place. The table's in the door again. The seats are in the back, but the things that I like, they've got some new catches, new catches on the kitchen where they just pop up. And it holds itself up, which is another big feature that I really like at any point. So you can have it sort of half closed whilst it's cooling and still let breeze in from the window, that kind of thing when you've got the window open, rather than covering the window entirely. I like that. Again, you've got the two hobs. They're exactly the same as they had been before. Again, when they did the facelift version of the ocean, they did the split top. I really like the split top compared to the original versions of the T6. So they've kept that, which is really nice. Another new thing that they've got in the kitchen area is with these cupboards, they've got new catches. And actually they're a lot easier than ours. So I much prefer that. The sliding doors again are really nice. Still got the kitchen drawer with all the cutlery space. Lots of space to put things in there. And then the same on the other side, lots of space to put stuff. The fridge is exactly the same, apart from that catch. That is a really good catch. I always find with our fridge, it kind of just sits down as opposed to actually catching down. That is a real safe, good catch. That means that it's not gonna just pop open. It's not gonna let any of the cold out. So it's all spot on. And one of the biggest changes I've noticed is this is something that actually broke on our original T6. We had timbre doors on the side. Now that did actually break and VW obviously very kindly fixed it for us under warranty, which is a great thing about buying from VW with the interior and the exterior all being done by VW. You can go to the dealership and they will change it. But the biggest change here is the lack of these timbre doors. And now they've got sliding doors. So that's much less likely to break, I think. And actually it's very convenient to open and close and it looks really nice i quite like the design in the fact that it actually goes in like an s shape 
it's very nicely thought through. And then when you open it, you've got a mirror here now and you've got lighting inside and the rails so that you can hang up any of your winter gear or longer things or your dresses, whatever you want. It can all hang up in there. So here's another surprising new feature. So here, usually we just have a door that shuts and quite a few people have designed something that can sit in there that you can put your things in. But VW have taken note of that and it's nice when they do this because instead of having to buy something now, they've already got it fitted. So it's all ready for all your little trinkets and things like that. Anything useful for cooking might be able to go in there. So that is a really clever idea and I like that. It's a nice little change. Again, something that VW have listened to their customers on is storage at the back of the seat. Now they've always had the bottom bit of storage here, which is the bigger pocket. However, they now have two more at the top, two littler ones. That is so nice to see. Now this is something super new and exciting. All models of California come as standard with a brand new camper control panel with touch screen. This controls features such as all the internal lighting, awning light, fridge, including delayed starting, pop-up roof functions, heating, and even comes with a built-in inclinometer to make sure you get a nice and level comfortable sleep in your van. We also had some insider information that all these features will be able to be controlled by your phone with an app that is coming in 2020. So the biggest changes of the T6.1 are probably here in the cabin, in the dash and all the layout of the front of this of this new camper van. And they, it just looks so sleek, it looks so cool. You've got a nice kind of sweep, so it's pointed at the driver a bit more, and then it kind of angulates the other way uh, for the passenger. But yeah, a few changes. Obviously the biggest change is the um, dash display. We had a real good look at that with one of the guys who was working on the stand. He showed us all sorts of bits. It was really, really smart to see, actually. As you can see here, VW have brought out an all-new digital display. The bit you can see here is the central infotainment system, which houses all the navigation and media, including Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, although we will have to wait and see how much of this is an optional extra. For the T6.1, VW have incorporated a lot of electronic systems on the chassis. This allows a huge array of new features, such as park assist, full tyre pressure monitoring, crosswind assist, which stabilises the vehicle during strong crosswinds by automatically braking the relevant wheels. Another new feature is trailer assist, which assists with things like reversing a trailer into a parking space. Lane detection assist uses a multi-function camera to make minor steering inputs to keep you within the white road lines. You can also see here the optional digital cockpit, which replaces the traditional analog instruments for a customizable digital display. New steering wheel, that feels very, very nice. Uh, there's new positionings of things like the, the cup holders. The cup holders are now up on the top of the dash, uh, where they were a while ago, I think. So they're back up on the top there. Uh, you've got a nice big area for storing I know maps, that kind of thing. This is all changed as well. You've got more storage on the side here. You've got a couple of pockets. Um, you've got all your window controls and everything is up on the top here. And then, yeah, there's like a kind of a ledge that kind of goes along the, the dash that gives you a bit of storage there, a bit of storage up here. You've still got your glove box down the bottom, which is a decent size, not massive, but it's decent size. Then you have like a big area in there actually that you could probably spot on for a phone. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can fit your phone in there. And you've also got two USB-C ports in there as well, which is good to see. Moving with the times. Now this is another optional interior. This is the darker grey one and it's not a wood grain as you can see. It's more like it's more like an industrial concrete look, but it's really cool and somehow it really works in here. I don't know what it is, but it looks really nice. So, and I also like the sort of grey teak floor. That looks really cool. Now this is one really cool feature and I can imagine some evenings in are gonna be so cool as a result of this. Now watch this. So the beds, as usual, shuffle forward. quite adept at this now. The back. Now, you've got the mattress that comes out, mattress top off. So there's a new feature. 
Now there's a latch here that you pull and this bit then comes up. You fold the bed down. And if you come around the other side again, you can be lounging in bed as opposed to lying down in bed. Now an idea that we've thought of that you could do here is whilst you're lounging, you can either look out at the stars with the pop top open or if it's pouring with rain and you want to just spend some time with your family, you could set up a projector up there and just be lounging and watching a film. Amazing, I absolutely love that. This is something I really wish our California had. Having this opening screen at the front is so nice. And I tell you what, this bed is super comfy. They've got the new Froley Springs on top of a super, super comfy mattress. And this is lovely. I don't even think you'd need a mattress topper. So now I'm inside the California T6.1 beach. Loads of changes in here. Um, it may appear at first that it's standard uh, California beach, as you'd expect, but I don't know if you've noticed, I'm wearing our Bus and Beyond, yeah, but does your car have a kitchen t-shirt? And um, we often get uh, people saying, oh, I'd like to buy one of those t-shirts, but I own a beach. Ha <laughs> ha, not an issue anymore. Check this out. How cool is that? That is amazing. So you've got like a bit of a, a prep area. Um, you've got a single burner hob. I've been told that the actual gas canister, the gas canister goes down there. So you can fit that in there nicely. That'll, it looks like you can fit probably the usual camping gas cylinder in there. So that's pretty good. So that'll last ages. Uh, there's also a 12 volt socket and a, a plug socket down there but yeah that is absolutely fantastic it is so cool how it just disappears away how amazing is that so yeah and then you've got tons of space i mean this would turn it this turns into a massive bed if you think this forms part of it it's huge there'd be there'd be no issues at all there'd be no issues at all with us uh, two, me and Lizzie and Bentley joining us on those stormy nights that we often end up on when we go camping. This um, part of the bed that I was on about as well does also have storage underneath. Um, yeah, loads of storage. So not bad at all. And it looks like, in fact, that's on, that's on um, the rail as well. So you can remove that if you wanted to. Very cool, very cool indeed. Dashboard, usual stuff as you'd expect. Um, for the T6.1, we've already looked at that. Also, I've been told that you can option the electric raising roof as well on the new beach, if you want to. New for the T6.1, the California beach will now come in two guises, the California beach camper and the California beach tour. The camper variant is more of what we typically know the beach to be, with two rear seats, as we just saw with Sean, or an optional three-seater bench, making it a five-seater vehicle, but with the added extra of that innovative mini kitchen and movable storage area. The California Beach Tour will come with the option of having up to seven seats in more of a traditional people carrier format, but unlike the multivan or caravel, it will have the pop-up roof bed. The Tour at present doesn't come with a mini kitchen, but it comes with sliding doors on both sides. Now I've managed to get hold of the brochure, which tells us all about the new colors that the California is gonna have, now these are very exciting because as you know we've got the Blackberry and unfortunately they stopped doing that. So I've always been looking for the next exciting colour and I think it's going to be this one. This one behind me here is the new one, it's called Bay Leaf Green. And it also comes, if you can see here, in a half and a half. Ho 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 ho, I think that would look amazing. But saying that, I love it in all the Bay Leaf Green as well. So other colours that we've got, we've got a new red, that's going to be the Fortana red. And then on top of that, the bronze one, and that is the copper bronze. And that's the one that we saw in a lot of the media pictures when they brought out the Caravelle or the Multivan as it was. Now prices, they've been announced um, on the German configurator. So we know the prices in euros. Trying to uh, look at the change between the outgoing model, the T6 and the new T6.1, 
Looking at the beach, it looks like that's increased by about 2,000 euros. So we can estimate about 1,500 pound, 2,000 pound extra. So that puts that at around about 48, 40, 49,000 pounds starting price. And the ocean has risen by about 3,000 euros. So we can say about 2,500 pounds. So that's probably gonna be around about 58,500, 59,000 pounds. Uh, in the UK, so a little bit more expensive, but many more features inside, some really nice stuff. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that first look at the new T6.1 VW California. We've had a real good look at the ocean, at the coast, at the beach. There have been so many new features to look at as well, it's really exciting. And I'm really pleased to see that VW have been listening to you as the consumers about what you want to see next on the VW California. So they've really put some real good thought into what they put in there. So as usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell. That means you'll get notified every time we bring out a new video. We've got tons more stuff at the Dusseldorf show to show you. So check out our future videos. And also check us out. We've been all around Europe in RT6 and we've loved it. So now we've got the problem of deciding whether we upgrade to something new or we change it maybe to a grand, I don't know. What do you think we should do? Let us know in the comments all your thoughts about the VW T6.1 California. We can't wait to read them. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye. So under the bonnet, all the Californias come with brand new Next train. Next train to the platform six is the 1242 to Frankfurt.